Hi, I'm Annie Botticelli, and this is the Storyteller Forecast for Virgo for May 2013. So if Virgo is your sun sign or Virgo is your rising sign, then this is for you. If you would like some information on um, personal readings, uh, reports, other self-help tools that I have put together, um, or my new Going Gluten-Free, Breaking Carb and Sugar Addiction webinars, and my new Being Your Own Boss webinars, then go to my website, AnnieHelpsYou.com. You can also go to the link below this video. So, Virgo, May 2013. As I've talked about before, when we look at um, a chart, a solar chart uh, for each sign, we look to see where each planet is moving. And when we have a bunch of planets in one sign, those are grouping in a section of each sign's chart. And this month, that grouping has moved into the ninth house. So, the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Mars, the New Moon, the Solar Eclipse are all transiting, happening, hanging out in the ninth house. Okay, so what, does, so what that means is that there is a tremendous amount for every planet and every transit that is there. There are possibilities, ranges of expression of activity that could be happening. So when you have all of these different things happening, there's just so much going on. There's so much going on. So for Virgos this month, um, it's all about the ninth house, which is teaching, learning, speaking, broadcasting, um, writing books, writing blogs, writing, period. Um, it's also um, associated with travel, long distance travel usually. Um, other cultures, other languages, and religion, philosophy, theology, spirituality, anything that expands beyond the general mundane reality. It's quite a loaded house. So many of you will be deciding you're going to start a new school program, either accredited or not officially accredited, it doesn't matter. Uh, many of you will be uh, starting to teach or launching into new levels of the education that you already have or into teaching. If you have been wanting, if you have been a teacher for, um, you know, an accredited uh, school and you would like to teach your own things, have your own teaching business um, similar to what I do, this is a fantastic time to try to do that, to try to launch that. YouTube is a fantastic way. I also have lots of other ideas in my Being Your Own Boss resources as to how you can do this too. But there's going to be a tremendous amount of energy around all of these things. Um, so whenever we, um, we have solar eclipse energy, there's a new window that opens. And all of that has to do with this expanded knowledge. And so also things get eclipsed out with the lunar eclipse that happens in these cycles. So you'll be feeling something become eclipsed out. For some of you, it will be your car. <laughs> For some of you, it will be your um, your focus on the mundane reality or information that is of a day-to-day -day kind of level and, and step into this exalted placement or, or an expanded level of information broadcasting where maybe you have been, were doing it on a local level and now you might be opening into doing it on a bigger level. And of course, the Internet is the best tool for doing that. So definitely look into all the different resources. If you don't have a YouTube channel, get one. If you haven't recorded a YouTube video and you have an agenda or you have a cause or you have a business, get on YouTube and just start recording it and um, talking about what you're doing and sharing it with people because what you do from your living room, what I do from my living room, um, people can and do watch all over the world. And this is very strongly highlighted for Virgos right now. Um, so let's see what else is going on. You also still have that Jupiter transit um, through your 10th house. So it's very possible that all of these things I've described could be directly related to your work or your income or openings for possibilities for your work or income, either in the job you already have or in, you know, starting a new job. But you definitely have a, a while longer of this Jupiter being in your career, life purpose, um, work house. Jupiter is the great expander. So you've got the great expander hanging out for its year, which it's 
more than halfway through that, it looks like. Let me check. Um, I'm not looking exactly, but yeah, it looks like it's more than halfway through that transit. But you still easily have three-ish months, three or four months left in the Great Expander in your work. So you want to take your work out there. Now is definitely the time. Mercury is pretty clear. Um, you know, so uh, get a website, get a domain name, just start writing a blog. Now is the time. If you've been talking about it, now is the time to start doing it. I can't see everything in your individual chart. I would like very much to. Um, you can go to my website, AnnieHelpsYou.com, or go to the link below this video to check out, um, to contact me regarding um, information on readings. And um, I've, I've written many books um, uh, on self-help topics and novels for, um, for with social agendas. <laughs> so you can check all of that out. And um, if you want to be your own boss, then definitely contact me because this is a really good time for you to step into that, and that's one of my departments. So I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.